thank you. Well done. One minute warning. Oh, there we go. Um, so, Richard. That was impressive. Well done. Richard, do you have slides? Yes, I do. Yes, are they? Did you? Oh, they Bowman, are perfect. Here, well done. And you just clip that on. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. We can record. Them. Thanks. Hello. So uh, my name is Richard Bowman. I'm a research fellow at the Nanophotonics Centre. Um, so I spend a lot of time doing microscopy. Um, we just had a great introduction to the idea of uh, open software, um, which I love and use a lot of. Um, but one thing I've gotten interested in over the last couple of years is open hardware. Um, and 3D printers are great. They're really fun. I know a lot of people with a 3D printer in their lab. Um, how do we use them to, to produce really useful objects? Um, so I guess the reason I was asked to give a talk is this. Um, it's a, a completely 3D printed microscope, um, complete with micron level translation stage. So it's got a three axis flexure stage, um, because actually a microscope is mostly a mechanical device. Um, if you can't hold something stably, you can't image it. Um, and so I hope that this technology means that actually we can 3D print something that doesn't then need to have a whole load of extra expensive mechanical parts added into it afterwards to make it work. Um, this comes off the printer in more or less one piece. Um, and that's why it's actually remarkably stable. Um, it, it wouldn't be fair to talk about a microscope without putting up a picture. Um, so there's some pictures here. We can squeeze a micron or two of resolution out of this thing. Um, if you're willing to spend more on the lens, you can get more resolution. Um, and uh, we've also made it work fairly convincingly in fluorescence. I should also say that we're um, in the process of trying to form a company to bring this to do water testing um, in places where you can't necessarily be sure the water you're about to drink is not full of bacteria. Um, and uh, yes, there. There is a video on there. You may or may not be able to see it moving. Um, it's a time-lapse video showing that over the course of a week, um, this drifts only a few microns. So um, the uh, mechanical stage is really remarkably stable and makes it great for doing time-lapse stuff. Um, it's also really small, so it fits inside your incubator, um, which for some things is very useful. Um, just to convince you I'm not all talk, here is a graph. Um, in this case, illustrating uh, the drift performance of the microscope. Um, and actually, I've been really pleased because in something that is made of plastic, and if you don't count the camera and the computer used to run it, costs about a fiver, um, we're achieving performance that is not that much worse than a very, very expensive microscope. And indeed, my £20,000 Olympus is not this good. Um, I think that about finishes what I want to say. Thank you very much. Thank you.